Awesome, Megan, as they say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Megan's here now. Um, loads of people have seen the movie, including our son, who's your age, actually, and uh, so it's absolutely great. It, it is, we, we don't really know you. I know you've done stuff in the States, but this is the really the big... The first really big one for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is my first real movie. Um, I was on a sitcom that I noticed is on TV a lot here called Hope and Faith with Kelly Ripa. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I did two seasons of that in New York, but that was a TV show. It's a whole different uh, It's a whole different world from doing movies like this. And you're only 21? 21. 21. Yeah, I just 21. turned 21. <laughs> do people around you start treating you differently when you move out of, you know, the sort of the, the league that you're in into the big league? I mean, Transformers is massive. It's going to be a huge box office set. success um, here. People around me don't treat me differently, but I guess um, people that you don't really know, like when you go into restaurants and things like that, you get treated differently yeah. if, you're, if your movie is doing well at the box office. And what does it feel like? Because so many actresses who are, and actors who are really good and, and beautiful looking and stuff, they never get the break, you know? Mm -hmm. It just never quite happens, and, and their friends and colleagues look at them and say, it should have happened for you. I wonder why, and it's just the luck of the business, isn't it? How does it feel when you do break through? I don't know if I've actually broken through yet. I mean, I'm in a really successful movie, but I don't know about me personally if I... Well, it's a start. <laughs> it's definitely a start, but I just don't feel like I've really achieved the career, career goals that um, I want to. But it's you're right about it being luck. It's all luck. I'm president of the Lucky Club. I've never <laughs> really had to work too hard to get a job. I keep sort of um, stumbling upwards into these great positions and I've just been it's so lucky and there are so many people that are really hardworking and dedicated and beautiful and talented that never get the opportunity mm. so so what happened I mean you were I know you were born in Tennessee Memphis mm -hmm. weren't you uh, Knoxville Knoxville yeah. and then you you moved across to Florida yeah when you were a kid and how when did you know that you really you wanted to because I know you know you were sort of training mm -hmm. in dance and uh, acting and everything how did you when did you really know that this is what you wanted to do I was three and I saw the Wizard of Oz and I became obsessed with Judy Garland <laughs> and uh, I told my mom that year when I was three that I wanted to be uh, an actress and I had a Dorothy costume and I was Dorothy and everyone had to address me as Dorothy <laughs> for an entire year. How worrying. Yeah. <laughs> and um, then once when I was like 12 I thought for a second I wanted to be a lawyer but I realized that I had just been watching a lot of Ally McBeal and I still just wanted to be an actress. <laughs> Right, right. So, and, it, and, and you, you, you do know various other characters. I mean, for example, Lindsay Lohan's permanently in the news over mm -hmm. here. I'm sure she's over there. You've, you've worked with her, I know. Uh -huh. Do you, do you kind of, do you kind of see it? Is, is it really um, very difficult being young, beautiful, and very famous in Hollywood? Uh, I would imagine so. I mean, I don't know about the very famous part, and oh. I'm not really a part of that that world yet. But what the media has become and what the paparazzi are now is just a whole different. It's a whole different story from ten years ago, and it's really hard to mm. obtain any sort of privacy. And I think that becomes just the loss of complete anonymity is, is hard for young girls. It certainly can drive them crazy. I mean, you, you mentioned Lindsay Lohan and, and Britney Spears. You never clearly. have a chance to recover. You can't get away. No matter where yeah. they go on vacation or to any rehab facility, there's always paparazzi, and it's really difficult. It's a difficult thing. Have they started to, to bother you yet, the paparazzi? No, they don't, give, they don't care about me. They will soon. <laughs> and what about... Do, 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 do you have a strategy of, of how you're going to cope with it? When, uh, it I'm happen. really boring. That's my strategy. <laughs> I don't... I wear pajamas to, like, the coffee bean, and then I read books at home. So I don't... No one's going to want pictures of that. That's I, my strategy. Are you in a relationship? Do you go out with the same guy? Or the guy uh, yeah, I'm in a here? relationship, which I think makes it easier because it's, we want to stay home anyway. Okay. And, and do you have um, Do you have a strong relationship with your family? I do, with my mom, especially. Especially. Do you live with her? I don't. She lives in Florida, but... Right. Who do you get your looks from? Your stunning face. I mean, it's Thank just... you. I look just like my mommy. Really? Yeah. yeah. And what does she, what does she do? Uh, nothing now. She's, <laughs> re <laughs> she's retired. She's in her 50s. Um, but she had a bunch of just odd jobs uh, cool. when I was growing up. Is she blown away by this? She's really proud of me. Yeah, yeah bet she is. Bet well, she is. Let's see, let's see let's another clip from the film. Yeah. This is where um, you're in the car with the unlikeliest looking hero, Sam, who, mm -hmm. it, this is the love interest. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit like Peter Parker, isn't it? And, and Lindsay Lohan, you know. The Peter Parker character is a bit of a nerd. He's a bit of a nerd. But there's an undeniable spark, mostly coming from him, I have to say, to suck you in. Let's have a look. Same situation that I'm always in, because I don't know, I guess I just have a, a weakness for hot guys, for, for tight abs and, and really big arms. Big arms? Well, uh, there's a couple new additions in the car. Like, I just put in that light there and that disco ball. And so the light reflects off the disco ball. Huh. Whoa, nice headers. You've got a high-rise double-pump carburetor. That's pretty impressive, Sam. Double-pump? 
It squirts the fuel in so you can go faster. Oh. I like to go faster. It looks like your uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. Yeah? How'd you know that? Uh, my dad, he was a he was a real grease monkey. He taught me all about this. I could take it all apart, clean it, put it back together. That's weird. I just wouldn't peg you for mechanical. <laughs> and he ends up, doesn't he, in the movie, he ends up being um, a, a real kind of hero. Mm -hmm. it, He's the so, underestimated hero. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. as yeah. most of them are. Listen, yeah. the, the, the special effects, you know, these, these, these creatures is ex are extraordinary. I assume you were acting against blue screen. You were looking at... Uh, we actually only did two days of blue screen. Uh -huh. Michael, Michael Bay doesn't like to shoot blue or green screen a lot. So we were on location. We obviously weren't working with robots, um, but there were men they would hold window washing poles that would be like 15 or 30 feet high. Okay. And they would represent whichever robot we were interacting with and we'd have to yell at the pole or whatever, whatever the scene was, we'd do it with these poles. And they would have, <laughs> they'd have tennis balls glued to the top for an eye line. <laughs> uh, well, okay, let's So let's you'd, see. Ha you'd have to be really, really scared of a, of a pole with yeah. a tennis ball on top. <laughs> well, luckily on Michael's sets, everything really is exploding. 99% of the explosions you see are real. Right. So that gives you something to react to and something to actually be afraid of. Because you could lose your life at any point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let, let, let's see you... Um, Making eye contact with a, with a tennis ball, which looks startlingly like a transformer in the scene. Thank, <laughs> thank God for that. So, uh, ladies' man, two seventeen. That is your eBay username, right? Sam with Ricky and my is that you? Uh, car is yeah, that, that sounds like ladies' man. Last night at the station, you told the officer your car transformed. Here's what I said: that my car had been stolen, but it's fine now because it's back. It came back. So what do you kids know about aliens, huh? Gentlemen, I want to introduce you to my friend, Optimus Prime. Well, he's one of the good guys, obviously, because some of the reasons... He's the leader of the good guys. Yeah, yeah. Optimus yeah. Prime. So, what, so when, you, when you actually see... You've obviously seen the movie. I have. When you actually see it for the first time, having had all these tennis balls and poles and things, and you suddenly see what they become, do you feel... God, that, I mean, that is fantastic. I never imagined they'd be as, as, as amazing as that. I I was really blown away by the special effects. I mean, I went in expecting it to be good. It's ILM who did, you know, they've done some of the best CG in movies, period. And with movies like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and those types of films out, you expect it to be good, but not as seamless as it was. And I was really taken aback by how real the robots were. Well, it's mm. getting great reviews. Listen, you're here actually in the UK filming How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. I am. And one of your co-stars is Jeff Bridges, who's coming in on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, he is. I, didn't yeah. know that. I actually don't have any scenes with him. I just met him. We had sort of like a pre rap party for the UK, and I okay. just met him the other night. And what's the film about? Uh, the film is based on a book. It's um, by Toby Young. Yeah, yeah Toby's Toby coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, and Simon Pegg plays yeah. Toby's oh, character great in the cast. film. And I'm this upcoming, up and coming starlet who's sort of destroys his life. He falls in love with her, thinks he does, and she just sort of really takes him for cool. wrong turn. Just before you go, what's the what's your tattoo you've got on your uh, Well, I have eight. This one that you're looking at is Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. How old were you when you had that one? Uh, this one's my most recent. I had it like two months ago. Okay. What's the oldest one? The very first one I ever got, and it's what everyone does. Simon did the same thing. I got a little Japanese symbol on the back of my neck for strength. And that's everyone. Like, you test the waters with the tiniest tattoo course, possible. Yeah. And then you work your way up to things like this. And I have a giant piece on my ribs. And what's also. that on your wrist, then? This, oh, you know, is, you know. uh, this was a tribal symbol. It was supposed to represent the ocean. It was two waves together in a circle. Mm. It wasn't done correctly. The guy was... I don't know if I can say this, he was smoking weed. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, it. I can yeah, say yeah. that. And he didn't, he didn't <laughs> tattoo it correctly. He, he messed it up. So that one's probably going to go away. We won't name the celebrity in this country <laughs> who had angels tattooed on her back, except the guy was also possibly doing something that he shouldn't have done. And, and he wrote it as angles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it lives forever on her <laughs> It's skin. there forever, yeah, misspelling forever. Hey, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck with it. Good luck Thank in the future. You. It's a great film. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, thanks.